Hey everyone, this is Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be planning in my Glam Girl Classic Size Happy Planner. And this is a look at last week and I used a Glam Girl half sheet uh, to just document some memory keeping for my son's national competition. And this week we're going to be doing Mother's Day week of 2018, so May 7th through May 13th. I'm going to be using the botanical scrap kit, scrapbooking kit that I got from Hobby Lobby during their mega sale. And prior to filming, I did take some time to go ahead and cut out my pieces using the Sassy Club die cut set. And then also running them through my Xyron sticker maker. I did get the repositionable sticker paper this time and I didn't really like it because I feel like it leaves a lot of residue so you'll see me throughout the video kind of rubbing my papers out because there was just sticky stuff all over so um, don't know if it's just a bad batch that I got or if that's really how it is but I'm really not liking it I think I'm gonna invest in one of those uh, gummy erasers to take off the stickiness now the bottom a strip of scrapbooking paper that I used did not come from the die set. I actually just measured that and cut it myself. But the top one um, is part of the Sassy Club die cut set. I'm also going to be using the header stickers that it comes with. And I really like it because it helps me give each box an accent to it. And I really wasn't sure where I wanted to lay the strips this week. I want to always keep my little scallops visible. Um, but this time I initially did cover it up as you can see. Um, but I just wasn't sure how I was going to end up keeping it. Because again I do like to see the little scallops. Now I'm going to go ahead and put down my full boxes. And so I did put them through the Xyron in the order that I wanted to lay them down so it would just be easier for me to put them in their place faster than to have to think about placement and order and things like that so I went ahead and just put them in the order that I thought would be cute and these boxes do look very busy but again if you use some of the happy planner stickers then you can always make even the busiest decorative boxes to be functional and so now that i've laid my full boxes i decided to leave a little bit of white space under my scallops just to break up the floral pattern and so i'm going to go back to the other side and actually move it and since i did get the repositionable uh, sticker paper this time I was able to do that but again it does leave a little bit of residue but rubbing it off takes that off really fast I ran two extra um, full boxes through the Xyron because I wanted to cover up the top part of my sidebar and I thought that that would be a great way to do it so if I ended up doing like maybe four extra full boxes I'd be able to fill up the sidebar with no problem now for my two, uh, well my double box for my weekend, I am not able to put that through my Xyron so I just use double sided red tape and use that to stick it down. I'm going to be using stickers from the Choose Happy uh, sticker book and I'm going to be using the to-do list. I tend to keep my to-do list at the very top of my page. So I thought that all the colors on this book match the scheme. So I'm just going to go through and lay the to-do list stickers all the way to Sunday. And then using stickers from the watercolor book, I'm going to be just putting two asterisks per day to be able to fill those out easily. I really don't like to put a lot of checklists because I feel like I have to write something in every single one. I really don't like to leave them empty so I feel like with two or three a day that's easily filled out so now I'm gonna get a happy Mother's Day sticker this comes from the original seasonal sticker book and I thought it was nice and big that fit that double box perfectly 
So I did put that on the weekend. And then I got this Mom and Me sticker from a Mambi sticker sheet um, that I got from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, it just has a lot of mom stickers there. And so I really like this big heart that says, I love my mom. And I put it on the left side just to make it the focal point of, those, of that side of the page. Now, pulling out my Recollections sticker book, I am going to be using these little circles to put the numbers back into the sheet. And so, I did use them last week, so I just continued. And then with my Sharpie, I just wrote a letter symbolizing the day of the week just so I could have a quick reference. From the same recollection sticker book, I did use just some trash cans just to symbolize trash pickup day. I've really been enjoying using these um, because they're just so small and uh, they're pink and that's usually the color that I go for. And then going back to the watercolor book, I did grab a weekend banner. It's not that decorative but I thought it worked just fine since the rest of the scrapbook paper was very decorative already and then I put a me time sticker on Sunday since that tends to be my day where I can um, just spend some time by myself. Now I am going to put a box sticker on top of the full box just to make sure that I have some space to write and then I put this on my sidebar to put in my meals. And I am sorry that I wasn't able to film the rest of the bottom of the decorating but really it's just a bunch of bill due stickers. Unfortunately this week is very very heavy with bills. And so I'm just taking my scissors to cut the excess stickers that are hanging off the page and then I'm going to take my Mambi punch to punch my sheet since the bottom of my sheet uh, needs to be punched because the scrapbook paper covered up that last hole. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back into my planner. And that's pretty much it for this week. I do want to thank you for watching and I hope that you are enjoying my videos. I also want to thank my mom for everything that she does for me. I love you, mommy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.